Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is craft time today. It's always a good time to do craft. And we are going to build one of the Lego dot sets and decorate it. Whee! With the sum of these 374 pieces, most of which are really, really tiny because they're the decorating pieces. Okay, so the new series, series two, come in these bigger yellow bento boxes. They just look 100% like bento boxes to me. So they're bigger than the series ones. One, oh, look at those mint base plates. That's so cool. What was I trying to say? They're, a, they're bigger than the series one blue ones, so you can't stack them into each other. But they're bigger, so there's more room for storing stuff. Here we've got the instructions and creating the actual... Yeah. So we're basically creating a box, but the joy comes... What's in here? I can't remember what this pamphlet is. Oh, that's just advertising for the other Lego dot stuff. So the joy in this is actually taking a blank canvas, which you have built, and then decorating it with these dots which aren't actually dots they've got quarter pie pieces and square pieces in each of these colors we've got light pink we got light green got magenta got dark pink got uh teal and uh, the aquary minty color and some lavender <gasps> so pretty so many color choices and these this bag has got all of the pieces we need for actually building the box okay so this set actually comes with a brick remover which is really handy none of series one did and if you're actually building something and then putting decorations on it with all these little tiny pieces and then you're trying to get the tiny pieces off because you don't like what you actually decorated it with or you just want to mix it up because you're bored with what you've done a brick separator is really very very useful so I'm glad to see that they've included it in at least this set I haven't built the other big ones yet so I'll find out whether they they are including them in all of the new dot sets but it, it would be sensible don't you think putting a brick separator into something that you're being creative with because you want to be mixing it up. Anyway, I'll stop ranting. Uh, we've got some very nice purple walls going on our mint base plate here. At the moment, it's just purple walls, though there is that, yeah, there's a little hook out the front, which is going to be the clip to clip the lid down, I assume, for the jewellery box itself once we've built it. Got a line now of white plates and now we get the, the this is gonna be super fast to build this little box it's not the trickiest of boxes and we're using nice big pieces to put it together the point of it is to be creating a quality canvas that we can then create on so we've got why are these both facing the same way is that right uh, i suppose it yeah, okay, I suppose that's probably right. We've got what's going to be the hinges to connect this part to the other part. <laughs> so the top to the bottom, here we go. So we put these on here and ooh, look at that. But I think we've still got some, yeah, we've got some smooth pieces that we need to put along the top. But before we do that, we're separating, like making little compartments inside what is, well, it's as advertised as a jewelry box, but you can use it for whatever you want. It's a little storage box made out of Lego. It's nothing I love more than having knickknack storage things. and. I have not put these purple, yeah, okay, so not purple. I need these pink ones, these dark pink ones to go underneath the smooth light pink ones. Yeah, there we go. So that's raised up just a little bit higher, but it doesn't come to the same <laughs> level as the actual lid, which means if you shake up whatever's in there, they're going to mix up compartments a bit. Mm, that's okay. That's all right. All right, so we are smoothing over the top of the bottom. We're giving the bottom a top smoother. <laughs> So that the lid's going to sit on it nice and, oh, look at that, nice and securely. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And we're almost done with the actual box. All we've got to do is build a little latch for it, a nice simple latch. And this just, look at that. Isn't that tidy? I love how Lego just fits into itself because that's what it's designed to do. It still makes me very happy when you, you know, get everything to fit right. Okay, so at the end of that bag, we've got one black connector left and that's it. But we've got all of these pretty colors to create a pattern on the top. And there are some like pattern and color suggestions, but <laughs> this is time for you to go to town, show your creativity. I've decided that I'm going to kind of follow one of the patterns that makes hearts across across the box top i'm going to though i'm going to start just in the middle and then i might mix it up and not make it all hearts in fact i'm not sure that you would have enough of these pieces to be able to cover the whole top in hearts anyway so let's just have a go i always wish i could plan this out first before i start putting on little pieces because it's a real pain to try and get them off again when you don't like what you've done but you know we, we all need to learn some patience it's always nice to fix up your mistakes and yeah go back again 
because I do that a lot. All right, so along the middle, we've got some hearts. Let's make another layer of hearts along here. But you know what? I should be able to actually nestle them into each other so there are no actual studs visible. Yeah, look at that. So, And I'm trying to follow the same pattern uh, all the way along the line. But this time, so the first layer just had pinks and purples, and this one's got the greens. <gasps> so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay, so now up from there, a little shorter layer of the pink hearts. Going along here. We're zooming along because this would be super duper boring for you to watch me do this in real time. So, la la speeding it up. I feel as though we need some Benny Hill music for this right now. It's not really very soothing though. Uh, and this tiny space here. There we go. Now I have followed the pattern completely. Now down here I want to mix it up a bit and do something a bit different. But not that, I don't think. Maybe if I make these, I love these little teardrop shapes or, you know, double-ended teardrop shapes. I think they're so pretty. And I reckon we might have enough pieces to be able to complete this pattern. Once again, in the same colors as the hearts, but teardrops for this second, this bottom half of the box. We'll see how we go, because I am starting to run a bit low on the provided decorating pieces. So we will just see how far I can get. Echoing this same pattern. It's looking okay. We're getting close to the edge. I'm running out of the magenta. The dark, this dark. Oh, I have to make a circle here because I don't have any more squares in this dark pink. Oh, is that going to look any good? Just having a random circle down the bottom? No, it's not. <laughs> it's going to break me. So I'm going to go and just get some squares out of my stash so that I can continue this pattern. So wasn't able to do it with the pieces provided. We must have used more of the dark pink on the top than the other colors. That doesn't really seem as though we have, does it? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm just eyeballing this and trying to see how things are all working. So we're going to once again make these little teardroppy shapes down the bottom. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh, that is really, I love the fact that there are no leftover studs on the top. Now, what to store in it? I've got a plan. I think it's going to be a great place to store my precious, precious mini dolls. In fact, look at that. They fit perfectly in these little partitions. Three of them snugly there down the bottom. Let's put them up that way. I think they might fit better that way up the top. And we can even stack them on top of each other. I'm pretty sure the top will still close. So this is going to be fantastic storage for the special mini dolls in your life. They're all safe in here. You know always where they are. They're packed in their box. You can tuck them under your pillow at night so they stay nice and safe. <laughs> That's so pretty. This is such an easy build, but so much fun to decorate. And it makes such a gorgeous end product, a useful end product too. A pretty useful end product. I don't think you could ask for more than that. All right, now is the time to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the little box and how you would decorate it maybe a little bit differently. And I'll be back with another video very, very soon. So I will see you then. Bye.